There we go. Three pack. Oh, the memories made in here. Uh huh. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. You all haven't been in here for a long time. A couple years, probably. This is uh, all of them uh, private marsh here where I am. Duck hunts with old P. Diddy, Preston. Y'all have been asking where he's at. He's living his life, that's all. We are still best friends. <clears throat> he comes when guide season uh, starts up. We don't live in the same town, right? So we live about an hour away from each other and he comes for podcast. Uh, yes, we have a podcast together. If you guys miss Preston, go join our podcast. It's always linked down at the top of the description below. But the old cabin. I sure do miss it a lot. Uh, today we're on a solo extravaganza. Big shout out to Chalk, uh, the owner here, uh, for getting a hold of me yesterday. I'm like, hey, do you have anything planned for uh, the last day of Teal? I'm like, no. He's like, well, come on. So thank you, Chalk. Everybody, go down in the comments. I guarantee you Chalk will watch this and say thank you, Chalk. Say something nice to Chalk down in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. But I was talking about the old podcast. It is firing up. We're giving away silhouette decoys. We're giving away floater decoys. We're giving away one of these bad boys. I gotta get going. I'm the fifth guy out here. There's a there's a little boy that watches the channel. He's out here too. Uh, we're giving away a handful of these high and dry utility poles, which I will be using today. If you guys are interested in purchasing a high and dry utility pole, I will also link it at the top of the description down below. Use code Bob for a very healthy discount this is a once in a lifetime buy buy it once never have to replace it american made shell holder it's awesome you'll see it in action but chalk was like bob grab the other argo you know what to do and i'm like okay <laughs> so we're gonna have three different groups out here on one big pool we're just gonna try to bounce them around i gotta go all right we're sat down i'm sitting in the weeds just gonna do a little ducking it is it's been shooting light for about one minute we got a three pack out front. This is awesome. I forgot to uh, mention, which I'm probably sure that y'all know by now. Rocking the old 20 gauge. Um, first duck hunt. I've done a goose hunt with it, but I think first duck hunt with it. Um, I uh, put a stock choke back in it. I think it's an improved cylinder. And uh, y'all have been wanting to see the old SB3 20 gauge. My wife bought me this for Christmas last year. Thank you, honey. You know I love it. One out front. Alrighty, guys, you know what to do. Please smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video however high you guys can. Come on now. If we can get 5K likes on it. I know that's a lot. Might be asking too much. Surprise me, please. And thank you. I'm gonna have to pull some of this unmessed all my weeds up around me. Well, first shot, there they go. Oh, look at that group right there. I got the decoys extremely close today, guys. If they decoy that close, I'm gonna have to push the mojos out. I know, no dog. Um, I wish I would have brought Judge or Fred, but um, I didn't know a game plan. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't know if I was gonna be hunting with Chuck, uh, the owner. I know he always has his dog. That is a, that's a goose. Uh, I know he always has his dog, so I just didn't want to be intrusive. Tread lightly, and, you know, show my respects. It's his hunt. It's his his place. So oh, here's one right here. Ooh, coming right at us. Very easily could have, but just didn't know the game plan. You all know the deal. You got to be respectful. And I thought we were honestly going to be in one of the pit blinds together. And uh, he was like, man, you want to all split up? And I'm like, heck yeah. Oof, that's a good group. Coming right at you, Chalk. Ooh, they're getting ready to get into them. Ooh, maybe not, they swung. This is beautiful, last day of teal. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, big swing and a miss, Bobby guy. That was horrible. No idea how I missed that shot. He just died. 
just tied right behind Shock. My bird just died right behind y'all. He said, got it. I did shoot one. Hey, hey. Oh, I should have took that shot. Come on back, single. Come on. As y'all seen on the last teal hunt, I used my old Rite. Loved it, shot really well with it. So it's kind of weird just switching guns all the time, you know? Uh, kinda, it's not all that easy, even though uh, you might be a good shot. It's uh, definitely a challenge. It, it is. Oh, three birds were literally five foot from my head. Wow. They're gonna decoy on them. Here we go. There you go. There's one. They got one. Good shooting. Those are fast ducks. Ah, oh, it feels good to be out here. Beautiful morning. Uh, sitting at, I think it's 54 degrees today. Real feels like 60 or something, but awesome morning. Awesome morning. Beautiful. Big duck uh, fires up. And what? Man, it's gonna be like 10 days or 18 days or 15 days, something like that. Uh, beginning of October in part of my area, not the entire state by no means. So I think we'll have a lot of pintails down. From what I've seen, I've seen more pintails than anything. You guys gotta drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys are seeing as far as big duck goes and what state you're from. Uh, but man, the pintail numbers, I think have been going up uh, every year, it seems like. so, And that's what a lot of people say throughout the flyway, so I don't know. Crazy that the uh, the bag limit is so low, you know, here in the States, but whatever. Those look good. They are going right to their hole. Look at that. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. Shoot them. Shoot them. Guarantee you they just... <laughs> oh, I knew it. I was like, guarantee you they landed right in front of them and they're just waiting to shoot them. That was awesome. They are tearing them up over there. Come on. There's two out front. Come on. Thought they were going to decoy on me. Going straight to him again. That sun is going to be buying. Oh, coming to me again. Oh, here we go. I'm going for it. Dang it. Shouldn't have went for it. <laughs> here we go. Ooh! Gosh, that hole is so nice. That hole is where uh, me and Evan, Evan and I, Hunted the last time we were here that y'all seen. Thumbnail was the Argo and me, yada yada. That hole, if a teal is going to that hole, they don't fly over it. They land. They land. I kind of messed up today. They said that they were going to be in both blinds. Sure enough, no one's in this one. I should have went to that blind. But they, uh, they definitely, um, I don't have like an open water hole right here. Um, they really are choosing the open water holes. I, I figured this flooded grass would do pretty good with a couple decoys and a mojo, but they are really prefer, preferring the uh, actual open water holes. So, hey, my mojo died and it just fired back up after 30 minutes. Interesting. A lot of fun though. Glad to be out here. Wish I would have brought Bodie, uh, my son. Just didn't know who all was going to be out here and how much room, but. idea 
new idea. Uh, we, I was not shooting anything over there. I grabbed, uh, I grabbed a spinner and a handful of decoys. We're at a pit blind now. That's, they've been landing right in front of this thing, so let's see if we can shoot something. Ooh, he landed out there. Well, it has really slowed down, and I'm going to make a move again. Not moving spots, but there's been teal landing back here, and plus, I want to look that way. Looking into the sun absolutely sucks, so I'm going to move real fast. Throw this one out there a little farther. All right. Come on. All righty. And now, whew, there we go. Stand these up. Give me some shade. Boom, there we go. Now we're looking that way. Only took two minutes. That was pretty fast. Woo, got them both. Ooh, got me a double. That was sick. Boom, baby. Boom, let's go find these birds. That was bad. That was freaking awesome. Oh my goodness, that was sick. They shot. At the same time, they decoyed a bird or birds. Same time I did. Those birds freaking decoyed perfect. Oh, all right. Here's one. Oh, there's two right here. Oh, they're out there. They just landed. That was awesome. There's one. Okay, where'd my second bird go? Almost hit me in the darn head. That's why I couldn't find you. You were diving on me, you little booger. Got him. I had to go back to the blind and mark where he was. Gotcha. All right. Going good, guys. There we go. Three pack. Oh, 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 he was too close. I hit him. I got two. Go down, dude. Go down. Go down. Go down. All right. I'm going to have to walk these out. I wounded. Killed one. Wounded. Another one. All right. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if we can walk these. My wounded one's over there. That was a three pack. That was absolutely close. How insane was that? They're going to get up out here. the three and this one might be coming back come on back buddy yep all right oh god that was awesome that was awesome he's still flying come on dude Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right, I gotta keep my mark. Whew. He's right there. All right, there's that duck. 
Oh yeah, that is my limit. I am done. Whew. Uh, yeah, I'm done. There's two more gonna land on me. Yeah. All right, find this bird. Land it right over here. Thing about this, guys, look how look how thick this area is. Look how thick this gets. Um, you really got to keep your mark on your birds. If you don't, I promise you, you will lose them. Just remember that, y'all. All you beginners, mark your birds. And uh, public marsh, it's just like this. Lots of rubbish. So, help your buddy. If he downs a bird, keep a mark on it. As he goes out and walks to get it, help him guide him to it, you know? We are done, I believe. Yeah, we're done. They got my other one, so I'm at six. You guys gotta smash the thumbs up for that one. Made a quick move. They were wanting to land over here. They were not wanting to decoy on me at all. How awesome is that? Really awesome, that's how awesome it was. Really freaking awesome. Two green wingers. I think this one here is a green too. Ah, yeah. The old 20 gauge. Man, I love that gun. All right, nine decoys, a dove mojo, and they are picked up. They landed out too. Here's my last bird, green wing. There we go. Yeah. Woo. That was awesome. Can't say it enough. All right, well, I'm all picked up here. The old spot, original spot. Uh, they're limited out. They're already packed up and left. Um, I asked him if they found my teal that landed behind them. He said that he couldn't find it. So we're gonna cruise over here real quick. See if we can find that first bird that I shot. Uh, I have an idea where it went down. So I think it's some really thick cattails. That's probably why they couldn't find it very well. Yeah, I think I know where it's at. We'll take a gander. Hopefully I can find it. Right back here. Look at that flock of teal, look at that. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it's really thick. Oh, it's That's almost impossible. Wow. Stand up here. See if I can get a gander. Ooh. Yep, now I understand why I couldn't find it. Shot it over there. Flew all the way over here and went bloop. It'd be a miracle. Well, I'm going to tromp around a little bit. See if I can find it. I think I have an idea. It should have landed like right here. It would be an absolute miracle, but it's always, you got to look. Guys, you got to look. I don't care if you're like, ah, you're not going to find it. Don't even worry about it. No, you need to worry about it. You got to put in your best effort to find it. Back home. Could not find that first bird that uh, that went down. Tried and tried. Uh, Chalk even went over there, seen me looking. He was like, I think it fell about right here. And we could not come up with it. But here we go. Here is uh, today's pile. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome hunt. Thanks again, Chalk. Uh, you are the man. Uh, providing one last hunt. But I don't know, if I had to guess, 
that first bird was probably a blue wing. So I'm pretty sure it was. Um, but check it out. Three green, two blue. So if I'm right about that first one that I lost, I think that it was a blue. It'd be three and three. Pretty cool. So um, we had a big push that last cold front, uh, that big cold front that we had. Um, huge push of teal and it was just at the right time to capture a few days at the end of teal season. Like I said, big duck is firing up. Um, ooh, and that's a good north wind. It picked up a lot, so it's gonna start cooling off again. In the meantime, waiting on big duck. All the public is gonna build up. Uh, there'll be no hunting up until then. So, I think that we'll have a good amount of big ducks around, honestly. Teal, for sure, still be shooting a lot of teal still, but I think we'll have some gadwall, some mallards, and some pintail for sure. Well, <coughs> I didn't have an outro at all. I just ended it there the other day. I was whooped, tired. I had marched around that entire freaking marsh, switching spots three times. So uh, again, big shout out to Chalk. Wanted to touch on something real quick before we get out of here. Uh, a lot of you probably seen the last video, which was someone stole my lease. Okay, I'm probably going to delete that video because the haters came out of the cracks, out of the concrete cracks, and which I know they, I knew they would. That's what I'm on here to say really fast. I knew that the haters would be chattering them jaws, right? And so it's not a big deal to me that I lost that film. Go back, watch the video if you haven't, rewatch the whole thing. If you are a hater and you went and dropped a comment like you never do, you, all of you guys that support me here, y'all know, I don't like to be negative. I don't like to, to go down that alley, down that dark road. And I didn't in that video. I waited till the very end to say something about it in the video, and that was it. But the haters are making me out to be some crybaby or whatever. Guys, I love what I do. I love spreading positivity. I just want to show the real side of what I do as well. It's not always um, cake and rainbows. You know, it's not always uh, glamorous. It's not always easy. And uh, I guess good or bad, evil, anywhere in between, it's just a video. And it's something that's part of my life. It's doing videos for you. And unfortunately, I just know how to get those haters to react. I knew it was going to happen. I'm not sorry about it. Subscribe if you have it. Honestly, I, I'm just being honest about it. But uh, subscribe if you haven't. Guys, uh, the podcast is popping. We're always giving away decoys, high and dry utility poles, something over there. Um, new episodes are on the way with special guests. We have very, very, very limited availability. November, December, January, one February date uh, for the guide service, Sand Hill Flyways, my guide service. So if you're interested in coming down here and hunting with me this 22, 23 fall season for waterfowl only, all you got to do, go down in the descriptions or just go to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquire to book form and I'll get a hold of you. But I just wanted to talk about that all that the last video real, real quickly, just to put my two cents in there. I am not upset about it at all. It was just another video. Thank y'all for being here. Really? That's what I thought. Prank callers get so old, you get them fired up a little bit, they start trying to find your number.